We are live! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's King Narakami here. We got a little special stream for you tonight. We're actually recording this week's content right now as we speak, so say hi to everyone on YouTube right quick. Um, so, we have a little special stream for y'all. First, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, Persona 3 dancing. Uh, we're going to be ranking the songs of that uh, game right quick, and I think we have a lot to say about it. But uh, with me tonight, I have two fellow content creators. Uh, first off, uh, we got Christian over here. I don't believe he's been in one of my videos before, so it's an honor to have you here, sir. How are you doing tonight, man? Thank you. Uh, I'm excited. You already know how this goes. I'm ready to talk about the music. Thank you for having me, and I'm glad to be back with both you and Riku. Glad to have you, man. Thank you so much for dropping by. And, of course, uh, Katana Riku, he was on the last uh, P4D tier list that we did. Uh, tell everybody, hey, Riku, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me again. Last time, I heard a remix of Heaven, and it was like the best thing ever, and I still listen <laughs> to it nowadays, so thank you for showing me that song. Oh, <laughs> man, you. it's it's such a good remix, honestly. Yeah. Every, yeah. Everything Heaven-related is so good, though. But y'all didn't come here for us to talk about Persona 4 dancing. We came here for Persona 3 dancing, and right after we're done with Persona 3 dancing, we're going to have like an off the off the cuffs kind of discussion about the Persona 25th anniversary. So look forward to that. But I say we go ahead and get this tier list started. How about you guys? I'm ready to nice. go. Let's let's do it. So we separate these songs into five categories. The highest being King Crazy, which of course is reminiscent of if you get a perfect score during the game, you get a King Crazy. Next category down is Fire. Bop, all right, and absolute garbage. Uh, we did not have a trash tier last time, Riku. We did have it on the song that wasn't on the list, though. The remember DD Mouse? I still listen to it. <laughs> like, that that this man Christian actually uh, said was uh, all right at one point. Man, no, uh, no, you see that was <laughs> I was lost in translation <laughs> in the Georgia, and I had to back myself. <laughs> We call we call Batman in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> thank, but thank you guys for going. Thank you everyone who's joining tonight. We're going to have a good time. So let's go ahead and start this off right quick. Uh, the first song that we have on this tier list is uh, Brand New Days. I don't even know how you pronounce the name of the artist. Yo, Yu Yo Puye remix? I, I don't even know. Fuck, I don't know. But let's just go and get this started and let's uh, judge these songs right quick. And as always, everyone, if the audio's bad, too low or anything, let me know. I really do like what they did with the three mix at the beginning. I'm liking the vibes right now. It has a very rock vibe to it. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's insane! Holy crap! It's such a difference from the original song. That guitar, man. That riff. He, go, he definitely going there right, right. now. Mm. You know, for me, the first song complements the game a lot, like at least the original game, with tracks like Mass Destruction and all that. It has that same cadence, those same guitars, same instruments. Oh yeah, it's so good. This remix is such, it's such a good rock remix. It goes along, it could easily fit in the original Persona 3 soundtrack as well. But guys, how are we feeling about this song? Let's grade it. You, for, right, okay. How, how are you feeling about it so far, Christian? To be honest, I'm looking at it as an immediate bop, not only because it's introductory, but it also feels like it's about to take your hand and take you up to heaven, where, like, apparently that's where Club, the Velvet Club is at, and all right. the speakers are out there, up there with God and stuff. So I'll put it in bop just because it really invites you into the game, and you have no idea how many other bangers are lurking around the corner. 
Riku, do you share the same opinion? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's a bop, but I'm gonna say bop because it's just you know first song, bass line, start at the middle, you know. Right. Uh, it's it's a good song. It's definitely not just alright. Uh, it's really good, so I'm gonna oh, give yeah. it a bop. I really like the rock remix. I'm a big rock music guy, so I appreciate heavy guitars and everything mixed in. If I had to grade it, it would be fire. But two out of three agree, bop. I think we could say probably one of the highest bops on the list, more than likely. And we can always go back later and regrade stuff. But All right, we, yeah, definitely bop. Definitely bop for now. Not even close to all right. So, next we have uh, Mass Destruction is the uh, Persona 3 and Persona 3 FES version. So it includes both ver- verses that Lotus Juice did. Oh, so OG. Oh, yeah. So, with, as you know, with these games, they kind of uh, put a mix between remixes and the regular music. Correct. He's awake and a beast without face reality. Never be charity. The enemy you're funny covers all society. Damn, right. Mommy's not here, gonna fight. Maybe I'm numb to the song because you hear it so many times during the damn game. Yeah. Well, okay, I wouldn't know because I haven't, I haven't fully played it, but I've heard the song a lot. That's not bad. So. Outside of boss music, this is the only battle music you get. Yeah. I think the lyrics make it very memorable. So it's kind of like a, a catchy song. The lyrics are simple. They don't they don't entail too much, and then you get the vocals coming. It's sweet. It doesn't really get annoying. Like, oh yeah, that's to me. The song isn't annoying, right, at, at all. And people talk trash about Lotus Juice all the time. I think he's great. I think he's perfect for the Persona series. So, him, him and Persona kind of go hand in hand to me, at least. But so, how are we feeling about uh, Mass Destruction, guys? Did you have something to say, Riku? Uh oh, that that was. No, you go ahead, Christian. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, like it's it's a really memorable song, like one of the most popular songs in the game, I think. Right at this point, uh, I have nothing bad to say, but I do be just generally bopping to this. So. Christian, what gets me is the funky instruments. I have no idea what most of them is. It's like that synthy, like spaceships kind of like. Right. I don't know what that is, but that it really. <laughs> I focus on it, and it really carries the loop. Like the loop itself would be boring, but I think that and having all these unique sounds makes it not like i said memorable but it also makes it fun oh yeah i i don't know if i'll put it uh, i wouldn't call it a bop i don't see anyone singing this outside of the the joke of it but so i'll put it in all right okay that's fair i'm gonna say bop uh the only thing i i like the song and i could change all right I, I just hate that they just put the song in there. Just no remix. There is a Mass Destruction remix later, though, that we'll hear. But I'm going to go with Bop, but probably a low Bop. Right there, all right. Do you guys do you guys think that's fair? Yeah, I think that's fair. Christian? That is all right with me. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> so Mass Destruction goes to Bop. Yeah, so, correct. So next, I mean, all right. And so next we have When the, room, when the Moon Reaches for Stars. The Hideke... Nagamua, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, remix. <laughs> Immediately it's jump. It's, it's faithful to the original too. Oh, definitely. I've always felt the song. I've always, I've always liked that remix. I'm a, I'm a fan of this one right now. This is actually one of the first four songs you get access to when you start the game. And I think when I remember playing, it was actually one of the first ones I played over and over. It already sells it, to be honest with you. Yeah, it is one of the first songs that you play. And it's a good way. I think it's a per- one of the perfect songs to start off with. Not too, nothing too crazy. It's a good remix. It brings you back. It has that Persona 3 feel still. It keeps the soul mm-hmm. of the track. It keeps its Tell personality. Him. Yeah, I've only played the first couple of hours, so this is basically what I heard most of the time. So I'm a big fan of this song. So Christian, what would you grade it? 
that's hard. You know what? It's not so hard. I'll say bop primarily because in the first five seconds you're enticed, you're dancing, you're pumping your head, and you probably like, you know, going crazy at this point. In the first ten seconds, mind you, so I'm putting in bop. How you guys feel? Uh, I'm gonna say Bob too. Yeah, I'm gonna say Bob. I think it's a step above that mass original mass destruction. I could play this in a club and see how everyone reacts, but I'm sure it's gonna be a positive result. Right. It's it's a good song. It's a very good song. So, in chat, um, everyone in the chat, um, let me know if you can hear the music clearly. Of course, just let me know. Um, but we're gonna do this Bob. All three songs that we've had so far have been Bob's. Which I'm not complaining. This that shows you how good that this soundtrack actually is. So, you know something about this remix in particular? What's that? It, the lyrics themselves are somewhat kind of like mixed emotionally, but somehow it still keeps it jumpy and fun to listen to. Oh, I yeah. just find that really interesting. It's it keeps the original feel of the song for me at least. So yeah. I love it. Yeah. So I think that's fair. Next we have uh, "Want to Be Close." Atlas Remix, A-T-O-L-S. I never understood the name. Yeah, me either, man. Names. I think it's like different producers or something that worked on it. I used to just call it Atlas Remix. I didn't know it was like another person. <laughs> Atlas. It sounds nothing like it. Okay, there's a little bit of something. Atlas Remix. Alright y'all, it's about to kick in. Now you can put this on the club and people get up. Oh. oh okay. Mmm. I like this. I love it. I'm gonna add that to my playlist. <laughs> Man, this this song's fire, in my opinion. Easy fire. Mm. I'm gonna have to hear a little bit more. You good? Right now I'm at Bob. Right now I'm at Bob. Though. You're at Bob right now. What about you, Christian? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Mm. Uh, I like this right now. I'm a fan. Christian, how are you feeling about it, man? He is in awe. That's why he yeah. can't speak right now. <laughs> Riku, did you, did your opinion change at all? Uh, I'm still I'm still bop right now. Like still it's bop. good. It's good. It's oh, still bop. Here we go. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I'm still bop. All right, so yeah, you still feeling Bob? Yeah, I'm still feeling Bob. So I think Christian is the deciding factor here. So Christian, what do you say, sir? I just want you guys to know, I like the previous song. My mic is just having issues. <laughs> you good, man? Uh, I understand. Yeah, you're, you're good. good. So what did you think about the "Want to Be Close" remix? All good. Technical issues always happen during a stream. <laughs> yeah. So, you say, uh, Bop, Riku? Yeah, I'm Bop. Looks like chat likes it, too. I think if chat agrees as well, uh, we could put it in Bop for now and maybe go back later. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. Um, would you put it above Mass Destruction or below it? Oh, man. Uh, I would put it below mass destruction but just slightly just slightly slightly i feel you i feel you next uh 
we have Deep Mentality Lotus Juice Remix. Fire. Mm. Just no, wait. I love the beginning right now. Super fucking good. I'll be there as soon as possible. You're good, man. Right. Uh, right now, this is this is really good. Oh yeah. Like, I want to say fire right now. I want to say fire. I'm gonna say fire too, man. Yeah, this is really good. Mm. People, like I said, people like to shit on Lotus Shoes for some reason, but I like them. I think he has a good voice for this. What do you think like, about? I, what do you think about Lotus Juice Riku? Okay, so he's got a unique style, and I think it's funny to like to like meme on him just because. Well, of, some of his lyrics are nonsensical. But. Yeah, that's that's just that's the funny part. How he just kind of says things, but it's he's not like bad. I think he is really good to the identity of Persona 3's music. Oh yeah, uh, and I definitely think it'd be the same if he wasn't there. So, so overall, like yeah, I'm a fan of. I, I like Lotus Juice. I do too. Here we go. Definitely fire. Yeah, this is fire. Wearing grants, fire. Yeah. All right, we got our first fire song of the night. We finally got out of the box. <laughs> now, you, our friend Christian went away for a little bit, guys. Uh, I think he got caught up with something, so it's just going to be me, Riku, and the chat. We'll take your opinion into this as well for this part. Um, so next, we have a Deep Breath, Deep Breath, Yu Miyaki Remix. This is unlike any other on this soundtrack, bro. I remember the first time I heard this, I was playing with my girlfriend, and we were just like, our eyes just were like wide open. Oh, man. It's such it's so different from the original song too. If you listen to the original song, it's kind of nonsensical. Oh, this is this is that song with the with the funny like screaming. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's this is the song that gets people saying pe people really think Persona 3 soundtracks fire. <laughs> Dude, like I saw, I saw a post on Twitter. The guy was like, he had the earphones connected to a trash can <laughs> and he was playing the song or the original. I was like, Brett. Mm. This re this remix is definitely better, though. I will say that. I, I think. Oh yeah. I love this remix. I'm a big fan of it. Hold on, you guys are playing my favorite song now? Is that what's happening? Oh yeah! Let's so, go. <laughs> so it's a King Crazy from uh, Christian. <laughs> yeah! I was just telling uh, Riku, the fir I remember the first time hearing this song. I was with my girlfriend playing this game and our jaws dropped. We did not expect it. So Christian, what's your rating on Deep, deep Breath, Deep Breath? Uh... You guys might be surprised, but I'm going to unfortunately have to give it, after a lot of thought, a King Crazy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Riku, sir, what do you think? Okay, so this is a good song. I can't give it King Crazy, but I can give it Fire, because it's I, a, a way better song than the original. I, I'm going to, we'll go with Fire then. It's a great song. I absolutely love the remix. Just, it's unlike anything else in this OS. I wish, I wish that I could have been here to hear it from the beginning, but this is good enough for me. Hey, man. And like I said, we can always go by, uh, go back and redo stuff later. So, next uh, we have uh, Soul Phrase. This is the theme song for P3P. The original. The OG. 
Wait, this is from the original? Well, no, this is uh, Persona 3 Portable's theme song. Okay, I could have sworn that's what it was in the opening. Right, they had yeah. two, I believe. But this is one of them. Well, the original one, I guess. I love this song. I do too. Absolutely love this song. But it's always been weird to me that they got a random person instead of having, you know, the original Persona 3 singer, Yumi Kawamura, do a track for it. I've always thought, why did they do that? You know, the thing is because the emotion that needs to be invoked is like, because the female does a lot of the, the rock, high impact, high energy covers, pieces or no, documentary vocals. So maybe this was. Maybe this was like a. Did you catch that? Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. It conveys the mood. Right. It's got a very sorrowful tonality. Well, now it's all jumpy. And, you know, the game is a roller coaster. I think that's the point. So, Christian, how are you feeling about it? Mm, you know, lyrically, ah. As far as the sounds, the instruments, it's Persona 3 at its core, no matter what. So I'm going to give it an all right, but I think the lyrics just aren't like, ah. Uh. You know, even if you're translating it, obviously, I'm not talking about Japanese if you don't understand it, but it's just not something that, once again, you don't hear people singing often. It's not that memorable. And to be I, honest, when I first played Persona 3, I skipped this opening, so. I think people I think really look knows. at Burn My Dread as the better theme song. Burn right, my bread. even then. Burn yeah, my bread, oh yeah. my god. What are we in, 2000, <laughs> 2008 with those memes, Riku? <laughs> <laughs> how, how you feeling about it? Okay, so I love, like, the beginning melody. The lyrics are, like, I'm right, not, not, like, the actual words, but just how it adds to the song. I think it's, like, okay. But I think the main melody of the song is just straight fire. But the lyrics are kind of, like, an all right. So I'm going to give it, like, in the middle and say Bob. Bob. Okay. Yeah, so I guess it's fact. up to me. <laughs> I guess it's up to me. Yeah. I think the instruments in this is really just a template for like Persona 3. That's the template. Yeah. A low bop. How about that? That sounds good. <laughs> Cause I'm so yeah. bopping. You still bop to it. I'm not bored during the song at all. It's a good song. Instrument. I love the instrumental part of the song. You know what? Let me see what the chat is saying about that one. Maybe I'm just old. I don't know. Uh, I see a burn my bread comment. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys for uh, coming out tonight, vibing with us, listening to some Persona music. Appreciate you uh, spending your Monday night with us. Thank you so much. Um, Matthew says it's... Oh, go ahead, man. Decent? He doesn't... Oh, yeah. Matthew says it's decent. He doesn't see this in a dancing game. Uh, Just keep notice that a lot of the songs were just put in, I guess, to beef up the the song list because they mix it up with remixes as well. Um, P4D also did the same thing. Right. With, uh, what's that P4 intro song called? Pursuing My True Self? Shadow that World? wasn't it. Oh, Pursuing Pursuing my, true... my True Self. Uh, we don't, uh, I hate Shadow World, just saying. If, if Shadow Thank World, you. if Shadow World belonged anywhere on the list, it would be below trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best opening. Definitely Pursuing My True Self mm. is the best one. Yeah. I'll take even the Persona 4 anime theme song over <laughs> what we got for a P4G, but, uh, Lobop. I think we're all feeling Wait, that. King. Yo, what's up? Did this song just loop? Oh, I just or never ended. I just re I just restarted it since we were still talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, so next we have uh, Light the Fire in the Night. I think this is the oh, uh, yes. Perso- Persona Q song. Oh, okay, I don't worry for the remake. I love this song. Is that a trumpet? So the cool I haven't heard the original. So the cool thing about the song is that it splits it up. The P3 singer does the first part, and then the P4 singer comes on the second part. Correct. Just listen, Riku. This is the Persona 3 side. I love the song. The riff, the guitar riff. 
And like I said, that's a P3 side, so I think we wouldn't do the song justice if we just stopped here. So I say yeah. we keep on going. But you can tell the P3 vibes from this one. I'll tell you what I like about the P3 guy. Like he's done songs like uh, he's done songs like "Stab the Sword" from um, Star Ocean and Anonesis and stuff like that. I just like the way that his his raps kind of trail off and get lost in the song. But all you feel is this high energy. It's like you're really about to no matter what. It's always about attacking something, and you feel like it's moving. It's right there. It's time oh, to yeah. attack. He's just going, running like he's like Eminem basically. I love Lotus. He doesn't stop. And here's the P4 side. You don't even know what he's saying, but it's just how it's And it's more upbeat. It's a sweet mix of what you're about to fight and then feeling victorious as you begin to beat it. Definitely. I think it's a perfect song for Persona Q, the messing of Persona 3 and Persona 4. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It? How do you think about it, Christian? That guitar all the way in the back, just like doing his own thing, it's super sexy. I think as a, uh, as as just one big piece, it's really great. I can't say it. I will put it in Bob because... I mean, I mean, it, like I said, it's kind of like a roller coaster. It's before the battle and then during the battle. I think it's catch. It's cool. Like I dance to it. I'll get whatever high energy jobs done with the music playing. It's cool to me. Let me see what the chat is saying. Riku. Um. Yeah, I like the song. I haven't heard the original, but um. That is the original, actually. Oh, I thought this was a remix. <laughs> Of course, we were just talking about how it's a mix between people. Anyway, my bad. Well, actually, okay. there is a remix of this exact song later, but this is like the original. This was on Persona Q. Okay, alright, well, I'll give myself a pass for that one. But uh, overall, like, I think it's a really good song. I'm definitely, like, I'm definitely feeling, like, bop with it. I feel you. See, me and myself, I put it in King Crazy. <laughs> I absolutely adore Those trumpets in the beginning, man. They they snatch your souls. The trumpets in the beginning. So. So are we putting in a bop, guys? Yes. Uh, I mean, you said King Crazy. We could. We might do fire then, right? Can we do a low fire? Yeah, we can do that. Is that I mean, fair, Christian? Christian's cool with that. Is that like embers? So all the way in the back, like little sparks? Yes, yes. You can see like little. Well, like you're trying to light a fire, it's like you're rubbing the two sticks together and you see a few sparks. Yeah. Okay, there's a little vibe. Okay, I like that. So, next song that we have, Burn My Dread, uh, Nobusiki Remix. I probably just butchered that. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I, yo, yo. What up? Just listen to this song. Oh, the song? Yeah, so good. One of the most sexy things. Mm. Damn! Oh, this, this is pretty good. It's definitely a fire. I'll tell you what, the, the, the instruments keep changing and like they keep doing this weird stuff, so just keep listening. It's really crazy. Mm. It may not be faithful to the original, but it sure as hell is a bop. It's not faithful to the original at all, <laughs> but I love it. At all. You know something? I'll tell you guys what I did with this song at one point. When this game first came out, I put this track over the um, P4 dancing opening, and I swear, it's it's so sick, man. Like That's how jumpy it is, that it fits all the crazy breakdance Kanji was doing, the sliding Rize was doing, everyone was doing something different, and this fit it no matter what. Oh my that's god, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. It's so good. What is chat saying? Are they eating this up, I think? <laughs> Someone said, nah, it's a no for me. <laughs> Damn. No, I think we can all agree with the mm, Mitsuru part. Yeah, yeah. I will. 
once again. Oh, whoa! Yeah, that was pretty good. So guys, how are we feeling about it? I think the second half is a little, uh, but the first half, like just hearing all the transitions and the instruments and stuff was cool. Um, I think chat is not feeling it, but to be honest, because it isn't so faithful to the original, you don't, you're not invoking the same emotion, I guess. But I here's the thing, we were discussing earlier the Deep Breath, Deep Breath remix. That wasn't faithful at all, but I liked it better than the original song. You know Fair. what I'm saying? Wait a second, was I there for that? Did my cut out? Yeah, you, you said that's your favorite song. Okay, alright, cool, cool. So, what would you grade it, Christian? Sense. I would, I, I had it at a bop, but given what everyone else is saying, I had to think about why it's a bop. And it's a bop to me because, like I just explained to you guys, I put it in different things and I just I love the transitions and the instruments, but it's not something. Well, actually, no, I'll play it in the club. Fuck that. I'll put it as a bop. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a bop. What about you, Riku? You tried to get me, too. Chat tried to get me. Nah, like nah, nah. <laughs> no, yeah. Matthew, you ain't the only one that enjoyed it. Not at all. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling Bob too. So Bob, strong Bob, yeah. Now where would you put it on Bob? Hmm. Let me see. Which ones are we looking at? Okay. Over Soul Phrase. I would put oh, it. One hundred. I would put it over Mass Destruction. I think. You think so? Are you are yeah. we in agreement here, Christian? But it, yes, but it can't pass uh, Yukari over there. What is that? Brand new day agreement? Right. Or Moon, oh, that's more reach the stars. So it can't. Speaking of uh, speaking of when the moon reaches for the stars, we have the original Persona Three version next. Oh my god, this is like the theme of the game for me. Oh man, I love it's it. It's hard not to think of how well it fits in the game. Like I'm trying not to use that as selling points, but. Like, and I'm talking about the original game, how well it just fits. Right. Like, I feel like I'm going into town. Facts. Like, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. The lyrics are a, bit, a little bit funny, but overall, it's a fun song. Guys, I'm going to have to be honest. This song is yeah. a king crazy to me. Oh man, look, look. Okay, I love this song a lot, alright? I'm trying to I'm trying to see. Rico, you over there crying? Crying tears of joy? <laughs> yeah. It's like guys, give me a moment. I need a breather. <laughs> I need a breather, bro. <laughs> nah, no, nah, dude. For real. I am if you go King Crazy, I'm going King Crazy. Christian. Huh. You know, I, honestly, it just it's really nice. I can't lie. I'll put it in King Crazy, but I was yeah. Well, here's the thing: if you're questioning it, then maybe you should. It shouldn't go into King Crazy because this is something that we no. all three have to agree on. Yeah. No, I'm questioning it, right? I'm questioning it because I'm more of an upbeat, like very high, punchy song, and right. this is, you know, but it fit like this is. You can't judge this in. In uh, 3D, you have to judge it as the original Persona 3, and it was a perfect track for the perfect location. So that's what gives it King Crazy, and it's just really vibey. So, what do you say, King Crazy or Fire? I say it is the King of Crazy. Let's go! We got our first King Crazy, guys! Let's, Let's go! go. Yeah. When the moon reaches for the stars, our first King Crazy of the night. And I think the chat kind of agrees as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. We already have. Two King Crazies yeah, in the King Crazies in there. Uh, this is where it's at. Fire, yeah. I mean, it's, it's gotta be. Now, next we have my personal favorite song, Time, Atlas Key to Joe Remix. Oh, yes. My personal favorite song. Maybe an all persona. It just puts a smile on my face. I'm telling you, that upbeat is the song. Uh, it's taking the song 
with its original mood and kind of like just adding a bit of flair to it. Oh, definitely. That's enough for me. This song's an easy king crazy for me. I like the bass on this song. It's like something that's weird to play out, but I love, I love the bass on this song. Lucan says Atlas, Peter Joe is underrated. But this one, yeah. So good! They're about to get better. And I know we're not supposed to put our personal preferences on the dancing, but Fuka dancing to the song, she's my best girl in Persona 3. So, but I still love the song regardless. Riku, how you feel about it? I really like the vibes, man. This is some, some really positive sounding music. I love it. I love it too. In this in the second half of the song, I like when they pull out those, I'm not sure what instrument it is, but they leave like, the other two instruments. The da, 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 da. Yeah, I love that. It's oh, so good. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes in, actually. In terms of like ratings, I'm still undecided though. Here it comes. Here it comes. Now you just like tap dance on this one. Kaza has an old school kind of sound to it. Classy part. This part's classy. This is like an 80s sitcom. Now we back in the future. I, I it actually sounds it. like. I have a smile on my face right now. It's, I have a huge ass smile on my face. <laughs> so, Riku, how you feeling about it, man? Uh, I like this stuff. Right now, I'm gonna say it's fire. I think it's fire. Christian? Yeah, this is definitely fire. Is what I'm thinking. They said. That what was that first part, Christian? You broke up. Song. I love it. You broke That's up there. Baby. Coogan said it's upbeat and positive. Definitely. They love it, and I'm saying the same thing. It's upbeat. So, are you saying well, fire? I think he uh, means fire. Uh, don't, wanna... don't you think, Riku? Oh, I want to say it's... <laughs> oh, you guys can't hear me? No, you like keep cutting out, like, randomly. It happens. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking at fire. You could put it in. Well, I'm thinking somewhere or Minato over there. I can't see the text, but uh, you see Minato and fire. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's in Bob. Minato. Me. Oh. Okay. So put him. Put him right. <laughs> so can we agree a uh, fire then? Because I'll put it in King Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm cool with fire. Where where is it gonna go in fire? Uh, let's see. <sighs> I'm gonna say like, which one is the last one? In... The last one in Bop. Like the top one. Christian keeps on breaking up. It's all good. Riku, what do you think? All right, I'm still yes. sticking with fire. Um, where in fire though? If I had to pick, it would be um, second to second to the right. Okay. I believe that's Junpei in the picture. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, there that's what I would put. I love this song. Now, next song uh, we have "Wiping All Out" by Atlas Kazuka Remix. Oh man, let's go. No 
I love it. I think it's Lotus who says best. Very faithful with your definitely, definitely. high energy one inch. I completely agree. Very faithful to the original. Riku, how you feel about it, man? Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I think right now I'm, I'm bopping to it. Uh, I still think the original is better. I don't want to compare them, but I think the original is better. But I do like this right now. It's okay to compare. Alright, well, yeah, I like the original more, but this is still good. So, yeah, I'd say Bob. That's me. That's interesting. I don't know, a little like. I don't know, I just felt it was a little too. It was a little annoying, and I think this one chilled it out a bit, but also made it funky. So, we're talking in terms of like how the song loops, because here it goes right now. It's about to do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to go Bob. Yeah, I think that's fair. Christian? Yes, sir. Bob. Alright, we're on Bob, though. That's a good question. Is it above mass destruction? Uh, okay, so I will set the record that I like uh, wiping all out the original more than mass destruction. So I think... Um, this would okay. go over mass destruction for me. What about you, Christian? Funny, I was thinking this same. Oh think, yeah, great minds think alike, right? I think we're all in agreement. Same thing. So, next we have a Way of Life Atlas Key to Joe remix. Love the song. Good vibes. Yeah. A fun, upbeat song. The motion is dead. I think I'm getting too high right now. I love but, like, it. This is like a really high fire song. crazy for me. Look, look, I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Christian, how you feeling about it? I I really like it. I don't know if you guys. I think Christian just cut out there, but I say King Crazy. What about you, Riku? Look, I'm gonna give this King Crazy too, but I gotta hear what Christian has to say too. Yeah, me too. We'll wait for him to reconnect, and we're just gonna vibe to the music. Chat loves it. Oh yeah. It's I, it's one of the best songs. Look at all those King Crazies. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. King Christian says King Crazy, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Snap, let's go. We got let's it. Go. <laughs> Two King Crazies, let's go. We got it, man. Christian says King Crazy. We're putting it on King Crazy. We got our second King Crazy. Let's go. I love this song, Freaking man. Hype. I love this song. Let's finish it off. It's so good! Yeah, 
man. This has been added to my playlist, too. Such a good song. It's just I like a faster it. version of the original. I love it. <laughs> so, we're all in agreement. It's King Crazy. I love it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So, next song we have is Heartfelt Cry, the Atlas Konishi remix. I like the song. Uh, it's really like loud without being loud. Right. That one instrument dominating the rest of the song. It's fantastic battle music. How you feel about it, Riku? Uh, it does, yeah, it reminds me of Mainline SMT. I was just going to say that. It reminds me of the Nocturne, uh, the Amala Network battle theme a little bit. It's kind of like a similar melody at the beginning. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like all right with it. It's not like super crazy or anything like that right now. You think it's all right? Yeah. Our friend uh, Christian, uh, his mic cut out, but he is... Uh, He's currently talking in chat, if y'all can see it here in the uh, comments, in the chat right here. Um, personally, I really like the song, but, I mean, I'd probably have to give it a bop, honestly. That's fair. See, I thought I was crazy for thinking it kind of like SMT, and that's the song I was thinking of, and then Coogan confirmed it in the chat, like, I'm not crazy, so... I mean, it does sound like an SMT song. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm alright with it, but it's up to you. I think uh, we're going to leave this one to Christian. And chat, what do you think? I think this might be the hardest one that we have tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a song you can play over because it's so loud. Absolutely right, Christian. It's like the first thing. It's like, bro, like blowing out my ear but it's, it's not even loud. It's loud. The loud it's guitar. Loud, wailing, loud. Gu wailing guitars. Yeah. Christian says, all right. You say, all right. So we'll put it in all right. That's fair. We'll put it all right. I personally think it's a great battle song, but it's still, at least to me, at the very most pop. So next we have a light the fire in the night, uh, dark out. It's the remix version of the song that we heard earlier. Yeah, it's not really like... But we haven't really ha had a chance for it to kick in. Yeah, let me be fair to the song. I definitely like the other version better, the original. Yeah. Which person did this remix? Let's see, uh, UK Someone said Amazing Remix is bad, yet who danced to this song? I think it's Ken. Uh, okay. Ken fucking sucks. I just want to put it the, out that's there. That's the uh, uh, that's the young that's the that's boy. That's the kid. Right? Yeah. Okay. Personally, I put the song at like right between trash and all right. <laughs> it's it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm okay with that. All right or whatever. It's all it's all right. Uh, but let's just see what Christian has to say about it. But it doesn't do anything amazing. I mean, it leaves a lot to be desired. It could have been a lot better. Yeah. No I agree offense with to that. the no no offense to the producer of the song. 
It just doesn't do anything for me. No. Music is very, and media in general, is very subjective, so we're only telling you what we feel like. No hard feelings towards a producer or anything, but I'm just not feeling this song. And give you a chance just to listen. We want it out, but you just can't let go. Just talk, so no blessings. No looking present, I'm already futuristic. That's the bad question. He said it could have been better. I think, uh, I think we're all in agreement here. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I put it at the bottom of all right. <laughs> Now, next, we have Mass Destruction Tetsuya Kobayashi Remix. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying not to be mean right now. No, 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 I get it. Yeah. I don't like it. Just wait, it's not over, Riku. The battleground's right here. Are you ready for this? I don't know. Uh -huh. You gotta get ready for this right here. Hey yo. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 this is going on. <laughs> this is fucking garbage. <laughs> and you know who dances to the song? Oh my god, who? Ken. Of course. Fits. Of course. It suits. <laughs> I think this is the, the uh, song that that guy in the chat really was referring to. What? I think yeah. it was, yeah. Can Mass Destruction remake. This is awful, man. I hate this song. <laughs> Who's having this play man? <laughs> Chris would be like, man, this is a great song. That's going in trash, right? This is this is absolute garbage, man. I'm sorry. Who thought this was a good idea? This is a DD Mouse of uh, P3, isn't it? I gotta give it credit. This actually takes talent to play, though, with all the guitar and everything. The DD yeah. Mouse was just random ass piano. <laughs> <laughs> that man. Oh, oh my god, I gotta do it again. <laughs> oh, you wanna put on DD Mouse right quick? Let's do it. Let's do Hold it. On. <laughs> okay. Ask it, you shall receive, my friend. We are gonna come put that on right quick. Chat, I'm sorry, but cover your ears for this song, bro. We we went through it. You're gonna have to go through it too. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta go to. Uh, gotta get changed. I'll keep on playing this garbage. Yeah, this is better than DD Mouse. Like you said, it does take talent to play this song. DD Mouse is just like random shit going on. That was definitely like keyboard cat playing the piano. <laughs> oh, keyboard cat. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh! Hey, this second. Hey, it's your song, man. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's just it's so much going on in this song. I can't believe it's even a thing. I can't believe this is official. This is like, have y'all seen those LeBron memes where he'll be like vibing to some shitty music in the background? Oh yeah, I see. That, this I is see exactly that. what that is. I'm gonna make that in the way. gym, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about. This song's worse oh my. Than what is going the on? <laughs> the clicking is not even on beat. That's what tripped me out when uh, me, you, and Rising heard it for the or when I heard it for the first time with Rising. It's like, what is the clicking? I'm like, bro, it sounds like a know. clicker from the last of us, is what someone said. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was my comment. Oh, let's get off of that. Ooh, okay, I feel like I yeah. need a shower. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. All right, next we have Aria of the Soul, the T. Komane remix. This can't be bad. <laughs> Christian, you said someone went to FL Studio for the first time and made DD Mouse. <laughs> crack, crack here. This, this kind of sounds like Skrillex, too. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I didn't really like the vocal breaking they were doing at the beginning, but this part's a little different.
Uh, Christian's right, this one takes a little long to get started, but it's still good. Okay. It's a bop. Actually, eh. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd go that far, even. But, I'm gonna, I'm but, gonna say alright. But Christian is right, it does pick up a little bit towards the end. Okay, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, you have to wait. I gotta wait through like a minute, it's just, I don't like to. Here we go. Get to the part. Oh my god, those vocals are freaking weird. <laughs> I think this part kind of saved it. <laughs> Only took two minutes over here. Okay, the beat is good, but I don't like where they're going to the vocals right now. Like a woo! 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 It's freaking weird. It reminds me of uh, Ice JJ Fish a little bit. Oh my god, dude, you ruined the song for me. <laughs> There's something about you, girl, that just makes <laughs> my head want to twirl. <laughs> Don't get a copyright claim for that. Because <laughs> that's what the song sounds like. I love you, Ice JJ Fish. I, I'm feeling alright. Yeah, I'm a, Okay, look, I'm a, Okay, yeah, I'm a Oh, here we go. It sounds like the same, except it's got a higher uh, pitch. So you're feeling alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Like, kind of low alright. So what we'll do, since Christian does like it in the chat, we'll put it higher. We'll put it, like, the highest alright. Alright, that's here? fine. Burn My Dread, the original, the OG. I like this song, too. Oh, who doesn't? This is the true theme song of Persona 3. I don't care what anyone says. Fight me. What's happening with that laugh? I walk away from a soundless oh, the song before this one, Christian? Oh, I heard Christian for a second. My ghost reached a door. a look for groove. I love this song. To this me, it's is... King Crazy, man. Uh, I'm gonna say fire. I'm gonna say fire. I love this song. I really do. I'm gonna say fire. But I'm gonna listen to it a little bit longer. I was never a big fan of this song. So, I'll... it is definitely a bop. But. So, I got King, King crazy. crazy. I got King Crazy. Ruku got fire. You got bop. So, we put it in fire. A low fire. Yeah, Christian, if you're fine with that, yeah, I'm low fire is cool with me. Christian? Take his mic cut out. Low again. fire. Fire? I'm feeling that. Yeah, that's fine with me. Alright. So next, uh, we have uh, Battle Hymn of the Soul Daisuke Asakura Remix. This sounds kind of like a dubstep Christmas song a little bit. <laughs> dubstep Christmas. <laughs> yeah, dubstep Christmas. I've never been the biggest fan of this song. 
Kaden says King Crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> He'll be going crazy, man. Christian, what do you think about it? I think he cut off again. Um, I <laughs> my mic. <laughs> All good, man. Shit happens. So if you can, if we can hear you, what do you think of the song? And if we can't hear you, put it in the chat, man. All good. I've never been the biggest fan of the song. Riku, what are you feeling? Uh, this version here, I'm gonna say it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's like Dubstep Christmas. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> I was just reading the chat again. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Dubstep Christmas. I love it's, it. <laughs> my boy Santa Claus over there. Oh, <laughs> the DJ in the party. I'm here for it. It goes over the Ken song. The uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Anything's better than that fucking uh, Light the Fire in the Night remix. I'm not a big fan of that. So we're going to put that in all right. Christian agrees. So, next we have Memories of You, the Atlas Megaro remix, so Shoji Megaro. Let's go. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Way different vibe than the original, which isn't bad. And I think the OG song is a classic. Yeah, the first time I heard it wasn't uh, Simply Dad's video, and I was like, yo, I gotta get this. Simply Dad hates Persona 3, though. <laughs> That's the thing, right? But then he said this part of the song and this part of the game was actually pretty good. I was like, alright. Yeah, let's do the song. Like, I gotta get this. I still have to play it for myself. I'm really missing out on a lot of it, of Persona, like, conversations, because I don't have to play it. It's all good, man. I mean, it's... Persona 3 is one of those games where you either love it or you dislike it, honestly. It's... There's really no in-between. You don't really think the game's alright. Yeah, I definitely like strong opinions on both sides. I like this remix, though. I like it too. It sounds like some. Christian says it sounds like some weird Persona 5 mix. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a bomb. Okay, so I would say alright. That's just me, though. Alright. I, I don't know. Just alright. Oh, wait, here. Hold on. Christian says all right. Give this yeah. part a shot. No, that sounds like they're both going and the instruments are separated. I can, I know you mean. Is it still all right to you? Yeah, the melody itself is really good, but uh, I'm just, I'm not really vibe with it. I'm gonna say all right. All right, we'll put it in all right. Ain't no problem. Let's see here, where would it go? Above Heartfelt Cry? Yeah. Is it above Aria of the Soul remix? Uh, I I gotta hear it again. I can't remember what it sounded like completely. The Aria Wait a minute, soul? wait a minute. That was the Dubstep Christmas. Yes. No, I like Dubstep Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I like dubstep Christmas, damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely not better than that. Next we have A Way of Light Deep Inside My Mind Remix. So this was actually on, as like a bonus track on the Persona 3 Portable soundtrack. Ah. Uh. This song, this is good. It doesn't even sound like a remix. Like, if I just heard this, I would think it came from straight to main game. It's 
basically the original song, just without the vocals. Yeah. It's a bop. Yeah, some P4 vibes. Christian said very P4-ish, natural and vibrant. He says bop. Yeah, this is this is uh this is bop for me. I like it. It's good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, where does it go on bop? That's a real question. All right, let me full screen real quick. Let me see. Hmm. Honestly, I think it goes right below mass destruction. Yeah, I don't like it more than mass destruction. I think that's fair. Fair. I think we're I think we're in agreement. I like it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, between mass destruction and wiping all out. I'm sorry, Christian. I'm bad. It's all. I think we got it at the right place. Don't do Riku. Just making sure you guys are. Right. What was that, Christian? I said I'm just making sure you guys can hear me. Can you? <laughs> yes. I can hear you right now. Yes, we got you, man. Oh, okay. okay. So you say bop on this song as well? He said bop in the chat, so we're going to go with bop. So the next song that we have is Today, which was on the Persona 4 uh, Ultimax uh, soundtrack. It's actually DLC for the game. I'm bopping. Yeah. It sounds like a fantasy star lobby song. <laughs> like it sounds good. I like it. It's a good song. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Where would you put it? Bop? Yeah, Bop. Yeah. But where though? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's almost says play the song in full. We'll do it. It's a good song! Yeah, I'm trying to... This is one song at Fantasy Star that sounds just like this. I'm trying to find it. I like the chorus. I really like the chorus. Yeah, me too. It's catchy. I don't have a lot of memories with this song. I think this is actually the most I've ever listened to it, but I like it. Yeah, I have no memories, and I, I, I'm a fan right now. Oh, that guitar! Oh, yeah. Christian says it's fire. Fire from Christian? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. 
That guitar kind of spoke to me. Did it say fire? I'm, I'm gonna say fire, bro. Yeah, fire. This is fire. That guitar solo did something to me. It keeps on getting better! That piano! No DD Mouse here! Yeah, he's actually, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> the song keeps on getting better! I love it! I think everyone else agrees it's fire. Yeah, that's it's definitely fire. In the middle? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, man. The arson. <laughs> definitely. Okay, I have officially fallen in love with that song. Oh my god, that was actually really fucking good. <laughs> that went by like kind of quick too, because when I, last I saw it was three minutes left, and I just was vibe bizarre. It went by so quick. Damn, that was really good. If I listen to that again, I might have to put it in King Crazy. Shit, we'll go back to it. Yeah. Battle Hymn of the Souls next. King Crazy. 1,000% King Crazy. I, I love this song so much. Dude. I do too. It is the ultimate fighting song, honestly. It is the perfect battle theme. Yeah. It encapsulates everything about Persona. And Persona 3. Oh my god, this is like my most picked song in like Smash too. I love this so much. This isn't Smash, isn't it? Yep. It's, it's so good, it's so good. I, yeah, King Crazy. I 1000% agree. Yeah, this part here, man. Oh, this isn't even my favorite part of the song. Uh, I think I know your favorite card is, I bet. It's gotta be when the Volta's coming in. Oh yeah, 1000%. That guitar is nasty, man. Hayden says King Crazy. We're in agreement here. I think we're just waiting for Christian. This song just brings back so many memories of fighting Nyx. <laughs> the whole battle is insane, I'm telling you. I have Let's to go. This game. God damn! God damn, it's so good! Christian agrees. Christian agrees. We officially right, have we another King, King crazy. crazy, guys. Let's go. I think that's a top spot for me, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. It's the best thing I heard all day. So Nothing more needs to be said. So, Break Out Of. This is the one song I don't have, Break Out Of, Atlas Key of Joe Remix. So, I've actually never uh, heard the song before. This is my first time listening to this song. So... I bet. Because this was DLC. This should be the first time I heard it.
It's all right. Okay, so I'm listening to it to the DC. Can you hear it? Uh, only through YouTube. It's like only through the stream. But it just works too. Right now. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I'm trying to listen to the whole thing before I really decide. Oh, okay, I understand. I got confused for a second because I was listening to uh, the stream and I heard you asking me again and I hear it later. <laughs> Bullet McGuire versus Seto Kaiba. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. You say Bob. Um. Wait, is this you asking me right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, this is Bob. It's a Bob? Yeah. It's, it's a good song. I really like it. I mean, it's. I think the original's better, but that but that's just me. It's all right. I think the original's more catchy. You should guys should compare them. Let's compare them. Are you up for it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we could compare and contrast the original with that one. I think the original's way better. Here it is, right here. I recognize this one here. I thought I didn't hear this, but yeah, I never hear this one. I think we actually did the song on the P4D one. I must have forgot already. <laughs> I like this song. Who gets this? Turn it off. Original's definitely better. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. I think we can put it at the bottom of a bop. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, as far as the list goes, here's our list right here. Is there any song you want to go back and listen to and revisit? Uh, I want to hear Kid Mass Destruction again. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm reconsidering. No, I'm bro, just kidding. I, I do want to hear it again. <laughs> But I was about to say, are you trying to make your ears bleed? Oh my god. Awful, bro. Awful. Uh, so, how you feeling? Other, other than that, like, I think this is fine. I expected most of them to be in pop. I think that um, we should revisit time again. Yeah, let's do that. Because I think it deserves... This song is actually, uh, there's a P3D uh, theme on the PlayStation Store for your PS4, and this plays it in the background. Oh yeah, this is still good.
let's uh, take what the chat has to say about it too. Alright. Welcome back. Welcome uh, back, Christian. We're just revisiting time at the moment. Okay. Very good song. Dude, don't even ask what heart switches. <laughs> don't. Don't look it up. Alright. We'll do. Later. Oh no! You guys are about to rearrange the list or just certain songs that. We're just revisiting some songs that we wanted to take a second look at. Is there anything that you wanted to revisit, Christian? Huh. Yes. Um. Let's, let me look at the list right now. But before we go, time, what do you guys think? I'm still fire with it. You're still fire? Yeah. So it's I mean... about where it belongs? Yeah. Okay. Fair one. So, anyone that you want to revisit? Uh, looking at the list right now. There was Show. Show was in, was in the beginning of Bob's intro. Okay. Oh, actually, that's fair. That's fair. Uh. Hmm. Just anything in general, man. No, no, not, not right now. Oh my, oh my god. god, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Man, that's some heat! <laughs> I don't like you guys right now. <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> At least we could say that mass, that Mass Destruction remix is a little bit better. Yeah. So, I think we got our list, guys. Are we feeling confident about it? Yeah, I think this is pretty accurate. Perfect. Okay, final look. As long as Ken stays on the bottom, we're good. Oh, dude. Ken has his bottom two songs. Bro, that, that track was trash. Man. Dude, it, it's really a testament to Ken's character. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Honestly, I hate Ken. And let's not forget the uh, social link in uh, Persona 3 Portable. You remember that shit? Mm. Was Our that the one with like the the grown lady or whatever on the on the internet? No, 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 no. So Ken's social link in Persona 3 Portable, if you play the female protagonist, you could do a romantic social link with him. What the heck? Don't question it too much. Uh, okay. Like what okay. the like what yeah. the fuck? I know. Like who thought this was a good idea? The FBI is whoever thought of that. They need to be pulling the FBI's watch list. My boy Coogan hyping up Ken at the bottom. <laughs> let's do it. Ken at the bottom, let's go. So, that is it for the uh, tier list part, guys. If you're watching this, uh, I'm uploading this part tomorrow on YouTube. If you're watching it, thank you so much for sticking around and checking this out. Now, we are going to move on to the Persona 25th anniversary discussion. And we'll see you guys later on the next video. Uh, Riku, as we close out the YouTube video, any final words about the list? Uh, yes. Uh, the Ken remix is terrible. Mm. And, um, I love everything that's in Ken Crazy. I do too. Christian, any final words before we move, before we change the subject? Yes. Uh, I was actually on my first listen, and now, yet again, I'm genuinely impressed with how close emotionally and instrumentally they stay to persona 3 i think now that you've done p4 and p3d we see that at least atlas understands the 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 kind of what they what style they're going for and p3 kind of besides those two tracks that had muddy instrumentals just clashing together for no reason the game really fits like that whole rock upbeat hype excited like crazy vibe and i just wanted to give it praise for that but outside of that um yeah that's it for me yeah, it's a really good soundtrack. It's, I think P3D is probably much better than P5D soundtrack, but let's let it leave that ranking for another time. Anyways, yes, guys, sir. that's it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to as well. It helps a lot, and we'll see you guys on the next video. King out. Mm -hmm.